What is up guys, Stark here. I am back for another Fate video, and in today's video, we're going to be doing the character spotlight for Kama. So Kama is one of the most highly anticipated servants of 2021, and she'll be coming out into the game in just a few days. Uh, we'll find out more of the official announcement of the date when the Caldea broadcast happens, which I will be live streaming by the way. And then whenever Kama does officially come out, I will be doing my polls for her. Um, this will be live on stream and this will also be when I'll be using my face cam. So we did a challenge a little while ago for my face reveal and you guys hit that challenge on Twitch. So now I'll be paying up that end of the bargain and I'll be doing my polls with my face cam on. So if anyone's interested in that, you know, this will be the opportunity for that. Uh, so whenever Kama does roll out onto the game, which might be right after the broadcast, we're not really sure. Um, but regardless, whenever that does happen, I will be doing my polls live on Twitch. So keep an eye on Twitter and my Discord so you guys can get those notifications to uh, when I'm actually going to be pulling. But yes, enough about that. Let's go ahead and just get right into the character spotlight and take a look at Kama. So Kama is a 5-star assassin who is probably one of the top tier assassins in the game. Uh, you know, she's right up there with like Jack and Hassan. And there's a lot of comparisons between her and Jack. And I'll kind of hopefully go ahead and and talk about both of them a little bit in this video so you guys can see which one you guys might prefer like you might already have Jack so you're kind of wondering whether or not you should pull for Kama the short answer to that I believe is yes but hopefully this video will help kind of explain why so anyway Kama has 12,889 HP at level 90 and 11,528 attack at level 90 this will rank her 76th overall in HP and 43rd overall in attack. Her star absorption is 100, star generation is 25%, pretty standard for assassins. Her normal phantasm generation on her attacks is 0.74 and on defense it'll be 4%. So Kama is an all around really good servant who could do a ton of damage. She has some pretty solid defense. Some decent support not really the best support character out there but some decent support definitely a very helpful skill at the very least and as an assassin of course has really good crit ability uh, so Kama has a lot built into her kit and her first skill is going to decrease the maximum HP of one ally by 1000 uh, this is going to be a permanent debuff and she'll also increase the noble phantasm overcharge of that ally by one level for one time over the course of three turns and she'll also heal herself. So she has a really good heal. This will go up to 4,000 HP at level 10 on a five turn charge time. It's a very good heal. Um, the 1,000 HP reduction is not really a big deal because you get the heal off. Now, if you're using it on an ally, then I guess it could be a little bit weird, but sometimes you do use it on herself and it really doesn't make much of a difference at the end of the day because you're healing back 4,000 even though you're losing 1,000. Definitely the heal outweighs the HP reduction. The overcharge is also really nice, being able to get a bonus overcharge just from the skill. Uh, it definitely opens up a lot of possibilities for different Noble Phantasms, being able to get those characters to do a stronger version of their Noble Phantasm without having them with like multiple MP levels or whatever. You know, it's just a really nice way to, to boost Noble Phantasms. Even her own Noble Phantasm benefits greatly from this. So overall, I think it is a very good first skill. For her second skill, she will apply Guts to herself for one time, and she'll also increase her own attack for three turns. So the really good thing about this is that the Guts doesn't really run out. It doesn't last for like three turns or one turn or five turns. It just lasts until it's triggered, which is really nice because you could just use it and then wait for the cooldown to end, and there's a chance that you could trigger Guts and use the skill again. And the HP you get back for it is also really nice with a 2000 revive at level 10 on uh, six turn charge time like I just said is, is pretty solid and on top of that you also get a 30% Increase to your attack for three turns. So that's a very nice very nice skill right there um, You're gonna get some defense and some offense and because the guts doesn't last for multiple turns It's just a permanent thing that sticks there until it's used You're not really wasting it by using it by you know Sometimes they have skills where you have a defensive buff and an offensive buff and they last for multiple turns so sometimes you have to choose between offense and defense so maybe you have like an attack boost with an evasion and you don't necessarily need the evasion but you want to use it for the attack boost. This skill doesn't really have that problem because the guts just kind of hangs around until you use it. So unless you get in a situation where you have the guts active and you use the skill again, 
that I guess that's the only situation in which you would really be wasting the guts, but even then it's still there, so it's not that big of a deal. And then her final skill will increase her Noble Phantasm gauge, gain class affinity against Alter Ego classes for three turns, increase critical strength by 20% for three turns, and decrease charm resistance of all enemies for one turn. So another really good skill, and it's going to be on a six turn charge time, which is pretty low considering the amount of effects you get in here, uh, but a 50% NP battery is insanely good. Just that alone is just fantastic. So you can use some of the better craft essences and still get your Noble Phantasm ready to go. Um, the class affinity against Alter Ego is really not that big of a deal, but it is nice to have in case you are going up against Alter Ego enemies. The Charm Resistance decrease is really nice because of her Noble Phantasm, so we'll talk about that when we get there. And then the Critical Strength increase is also going to be really nice. As an Assassin, she'll generate a lot of stars, and in turn you want to hit you know, pretty strong crit hits with those. Uh, so having a 20% increase to your crit strength is going to be very helpful. As for her passives, she has four. The first one will increase debuff resistance by 20%. The second one will increase critical strength, mental debuff resistance, and death resistance by 6%. The third one will increase quick card effectiveness by 10%. And finally, the last one will apply damage plus 225 and apply charm immunity to herself. So all in all for Kama skills, I think she has a very good set of skills. There's not too many flaws or drawbacks to this. Um, and even the one drawback she has by reducing her HP or an ally's HP by 1000 can easily be offset by healing with that 4000 HP at level 10. Um, and even if you're using it on an ally, 1000 HP is not the end of the world for a lot of characters, so you can kind of get away with it. So all in all, I will give her skills 5 stars. So now let's go ahead and take a look at her command card deck and her Noble Phantasm. Her command card deck consists of 2 quick, 1 arts, 2 buster, and the hit counts are going to be 4 on the quick, 3 on the arts, 4 on the buster, and 5 on the extra attack. So she has a pretty balanced command card deck there, and her Noble Phantasm is going to be quick, so you can do quick chains. Uh, just keep that in mind. We'll talk about the Noble Phantasm in a little bit, but first we're going to talk about her chains. So for damage chains, you're going to go buster, arts, buster, extra. For Noble Phantasm generation, you're going to have to bring in some extra arts cards since she only does have the one, but you can go ahead and get an 86% gauge increase here. It does factor in her skill, but even if you take that out, a 36% increase, not too bad overall there. And then for critical stars, you're going to bring in a different allies quick card and then her two quick cards for 27 critical stars. And as for her Noble Phantasm, like I did say, it is a quick Noble Phantasm, which will deal significant damage to a single enemy and have an 80% chance to inflict charm on that enemy for one turn. So this does go hand in hand with her third skill. So you're lowering their charm resistance and then inflicting charm on them. So odds are it'll work. Um, I don't like the 80% chance. I always hate those percent based skills, but it is what it is at the end of the day. It is gonna do some really good damage. And then on the overcharge, you'll increase your own quick card effectiveness for three turns, and it's a pretty solid percentage here. You have anywhere between 20 and 40%, depending on where you have it overcharged at. And again, this can go hand in hand with her first skill by overcharging her own Noble Phantasm. You'll be able to you know, boost your quick card effectiveness just by a pretty good amount of damage. So all in all for her damage capabilities, I am gonna give her four and a half stars. Most of her buffs last for multiple turns, and you can get in a situation where you can keep your quick card effectiveness increase active for pretty much the entire fight, as long as you are being like strategic with when you use your Noble Phantasms. And all in all, just a very good attacker. And you know, with all those crit stars you're gonna generate from her being an assassin, uh, it's just gonna be a lot of damage overall. And she has the buffs needed in order to uh, increase the damage that she can actually deal. Her crit ability is going to get 5 stars. As an assassin, she has naturally high stats for crits, so pretty much every assassin is going to score high in crit ability. Uh, she does also have the ability to increase her own critical strength, so that's always going to be very helpful, and that kind of just solidifies her 5 star ranking there. Her Noble Phantasm is going to get 4.5 stars. It does a pretty good amount of damage, and it has a really good overcharge effect. The only reason why I really take any sort of points away from it is the charm percentage. 
Um, it's nice if you get it to work, it could be very helpful, but the 80% chance, although it's high, it's not, it's not guaranteed. So, you know, it's gonna fail. And when you really need it to, it's probably gonna fail because that's kind of how it works in, you know, RNG based games. Uh, so I did take half a point off, but it's still a very good Noble Phantasm, especially if you can get it to Noble Phantasm level two to get that increase to your overall damage. I think it's a 400% increase to damage from level one to level two. So that's really nice. Her survivability is going to score four stars. She has some pretty good survivability, although she doesn't have like hard defense as far as invincibility or evasion goes. She does have a really good gut skill and she also does have a heal built into her kit. Uh, so that's really nice and it should keep her alive for a pretty decent amount of time. Worst comes to worst, just bring in somebody that can give her hard defense like an evasion or invincibility and you should be good to go. As far as support goes, she's only going to get 3 stars in support and this is primarily due to her first skill in the fact that she can use it on an ally to increase their Noble Phantasm overcharge by 1 at the cost of healing or uh, reducing their HP by 1000. So it's not much as far as support goes but it is going to be pretty helpful to overcharge her Noble Phantasm but I can't give her more than 3 stars in support. All in all though, that will give her a 4.3 overall for her ranking, which is really good. She is, in my opinion, one of the best assassins in the game, and I'm going to make sure I get her. Um, as long as a disaster doesn't happen, I definitely plan on walking away whenever she comes out with at least one copy of Kama, if not two copies of Kama. And I do prefer Kama over Jack, but I don't necessarily think that it's too like far off as far as which character is necessarily better. Than the other one so if your reasoning for not pulling for Kama is because you already have Jack then that is fine they do hit for the same amount of damage at base for the Noble Phantasm and Jack does have the little bit of an increase for her overcharge effect by doing more damage against female enemies so she's definitely gonna benefit there but I think Kama's kit is better suited for like everyday use and her Noble Phantasm is also better in my opinion just because she's not limited to the necessity of going up against female servants uh, so that's why I prefer Kama over Jack but I don't think Jack is bad I just think that Kama is better so yeah that is my two cents on that debate I don't want to go into it too much because this video will be even longer but yeah that is that those are my opinions on that and as far as banners that Kama will be coming out in obviously she'll be out right now or whenever her banner is released in a couple days, depending on when this video is actually posted to YouTube. Uh, she'll be out for her debut banner. And then outside of that, she will come back a few times, but mainly she just comes back for like lucky bags. So she'll come back for the anniversary, of course. She'll come back for the New Year's banner next year. Uh, she'll also come back in the rerun for her own events. And then she'll come back for the fifth anniversary and another new year's event so basically if you really want a good shot at getting her then you definitely want to roll for her on her debut banner or her rerun banner next year so for now that is going to be the end of this video guys i hope you did enjoy it i know it's been a little while since i've done a character spotlight so hopefully uh it's still pretty relevant and pretty good here i'm uh, gonna get back to doing them of course um it's just kind of been like a little bit of a dead period of time without any really new servants i did miss the king protea one i'll go back and do that at some point uh but yeah that is gonna be the end of this video i hope you did like it and if you did feel free to like comment and subscribe and as always i have the links below to my twitter twitch patreon and discord so feel free to check those out and i'll see you guys next time